Let's see seven tips for making better quality coffee at home according to science. Number one, buy beans, not ground coffee. Grind your beans at home and invest in an early level grinder. A blade grinder can do, but even better, a bar grinder. Number two, buy local freshly roasted coffee. Within a month of roasting is fine. Check your local roasteries online. If you do like this video, press the like button, press subscribe because we do have lots of nice content coming up for you and it really helps a lot a small channel such as this one. Number three, buy small quantities of coffee and then keep them in an airtight container. Use a rubber band as well. Or if you're a foodie and you have something even better like a vacuum sealer, that's fine. But keeping them airtight and buying small quantities is a must. Number four, drink two to three cups of coffee a day before 5 p.m. Follow this channel to get insights into food, diet, health and nutrition. We have four videos uploaded at the moment, two in oils and fats and two on coffee. If coffee is your thing, make sure you watch my video on coffee and if it's good for you and also the one helping you make Greek or Turkish coffee from scratch. Check the description for all the links described in the video. Thanks and let's get back to the tips now. Number five, for best cappuccinos at home, heat your milk at 60 to 70 degrees centigrade using a thermometer. Then you can use a French press to press the milk and uh, incorporate air into it. That's where the foam stability is best with heated milk. But don't overheat it because the protein doesn't like too much heat. Number six, when you are out and about, pick the medium to small sizes of coffee. Don't buy into the culture of huge coffees with 300 ml seeds and three to four shots of espresso. That's very strong. That's too much coffee in one go. Go for smaller. And number seven, drink your coffee slowly. Don't rush it. Don't shallow it excessively hot for a lot of reason, not just because of the inconvenience. Enjoy your coffee responsibly. And if you want to learn more, buy a balance, buy beans, control your green size, and also control the amount of water used and the amount of coffee that's produced. Play with these variables and record the results in a notebook. Let me know how it goes. If there is any question about coffee, I will be very happy. Put it down in the comments. I will reply to you. Self-experiment and you will learn lots. And if you have a specific question about what experiments we can do at home or what can we do in the university, what exactly we do on a daily basis, then let me know down in the comments and I will gladly see if I can do it for you. And if you do like this content, consider subscribing because it really does help a lot a small channel such as this and you will see even more content from me in the near future. We have a lot of things in the pipeline. So, so stay positive, so stay healthy, stay positive, stay caffeinated and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!